Good morning traders, Steve Gans here with a new start to finish trade to take a look at today. So let me share with you my premise or the setup for this trade. First of all, this is a butterfly trade. Butterflies are by far one of my most favorite trades and something that every trader should make sure that they fully understand and learn. The nice thing about a butterfly is that there are basically uh, a very flat T0 line for an extended period of time if you put them on properly. One of the keys to putting them on is to put them on when volatility is a little bit higher. Here this morning we had a gap down based off of a bad CPI number. We gapped down right to a, a prior low from about four days ago. Now we could potentially go lower here. I've actually drawn a range that I expect our market to maybe chop back and forth in over the next month or two. And this range comes down to 50-50. So I'm looking at about 52.50 on the high, around 50-50 on the low. And that's a range that I'm expecting our market to trade in in the foreseeable future. But volatility is up a little bit this morning. And one of the key things when volatility is up, butterflies become cheaper. You have a much better reward to risk ratio when volatility is higher than you do when volatility is lower. And again, butterflies love butterfly trades. And one of the variations that I'm looking at here is called a broken wing butterfly. I'm doing this trade in SPX. So I usually do, personally, I usually do a 10 lot in these. Again, this is not anything that anyone should look at if they're not comfortable trading the style of trades. This is for educational purposes only. This is not a live trade recommendation. But I'm going to do a setup for a 10 lot. One of the reasons I do that is I tend to filter out of these trades over time when conditions become favorable. I will often enter them all at once when I have a, a good entry situation like I have right now, but I'll filter out of them slowly over time. So one of the things I love right now about this trade is we can see we're trading right in this area right here. If the market rips up from here, I have virtually no upside risk. So if the market takes off, moves to the upside, which is more likely in this continued bullish phase than a, a sell-off in the market. If that happens, I have virtually no risk to the upside, a very small amount, and I would easily be able to adjust this trade to remove that upside risk if and when I feel it's appropriate. And that will be part of this whole series that I'll be doing on this start to finish trade. I'm going out a ways in time. I'm going out 72 days. If I don't go out as far in this, I don't get that same profile. If I go to May 2nd, you can see I have a fair amount of risk to the upside in May 2nd. But if I come back to uh, this June 21, I have virtually no risk to the upside. And I have a very good reward to risk ratio. I've got a total of $10,000 in risk. And the credit I'm taking in or my max potential profit is 49,000. There is no way I am shooting for that 49000 I need to be very clear on that. What I'm usually looking for in these trades is I'm looking for a little bit of time to pass, and then I'm looking for volatility to drop off. When that happens, this trade will quickly show some profitability. So let me go ahead and save this trade. And uh, this is going to be an iron butterfly, and it is a BWB, a broken wing butterfly. I'll put this in the start to finish. And I will go ahead and share this link for everyone as well so that you can put it in your own OptionStrat account and follow along. Now that I've entered this trade, let me just show you a couple things that can happen. First of all, as time decays on this, and it's got a, you're in this trade for a while. This can be literally like watching paint dry. Not much is going to happen. But so long as we stay in this general range, you'll start to see profitability creep in as time goes by. The other thing that you're going to see happening in this trade, if volatility falls off, which I'm putting this on a higher volatility day when the market gap down with the expectation that volatility will drop off in this. If volatility drops off, 
this trade also will quickly show some profitability. Now, of course, volatility may not drop off. It's possible that our markets are going to rip up, uh, or excuse me, that the volatility is going to increase further. Let me, And if that happens, if volatility spikes, this trade is not going to do as well. It will move into further loss as this line gets depressed. But again, my premise here is that volatility is more likely to reduce in the coming days and weeks than it is to go up. Could be totally wrong on that, but that's my premise right now based on what I know about our markets. So I have just entered this broken wing butterfly. We've got uh, the configuration here is I'm selling a put and a call, both at 5150. Now I've chosen not to center this, and a case can be made for centering it, but by not centering it, I've given myself a little more downside run. You can see I said we might go down to 5050. If we come all the way down here to 5050, that still isn't having a huge impact in this trade at this stage. Now, as you get in the very late stages of the trade, where I am usually out of it before you get into the last week or two, but if you get real late in this, you do, at 50-50, have a significant amount of loss. But my goal is to be out of this trade way before that point in time. I'll usually get out of this thing 20 days or more remaining in the trade, you know, in the, anywhere in that 20 to 14 day window is usually when I have gotten out of this trade. And that will depend on how good of an entry I get, and I consider this to be a fairly decent entry on this. So I will try to milk this trade a little bit longer than I might normally do. So we have entered this SPX, it's 72 days out. And now I just sit on this thing, let it decay over time, and I will circle back if the market rips up. There's certain adjustments that I can make. If the market were to rip down, there are certain adjustments that I can make in this trade. And we'll see if any of those come into play here in the coming weeks. Aside from that, we're just going to sit and let this thing cook and do its decay thing. So that's it, everyone. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask them below. I can get into some minimal discussions there. Obviously, I can't put on a whole class on, on butterflies. But this will play out over time and give you some good uh, insight into butterflies. And also, please, like, subscribe, and uh, give me any comments. Take care, everyone. Have a great week.